I gotta tell you something I could do I could be running around chasing you Cause I got better, better things to do Chasing somebody who loves me too Okay, so you're gonna ask, Neil, why do you look like you're building the road? I'm not, it's just cold, and we gotta save as the van. Because it's cold, it's winter, and this is the time when you should service your van. Oil gets mucky, all of the shite gets clogged up and blocked up, the cold does not help any of these matters. So, let's get the van serviced and show you just how we do a basic service on a T4. Do you like that? T4. First of all, get her up on the ramps. So, we're on the ramps, what are we going to change? Air filter. Brand new air filter for the T4. Oil. Oil filter. Which on the T4, they are a monster. That could be a thumbnail, won't be. Could be. Antifreeze. Goes new water, dead simple. Fuel filter, which weirdly enough didn't come with the bottom stopper. So we're going to have to take the bottom stopper out of the old fuel filter and put it in this one. Now, people freak out about changing fuel filters. Look, it's dead simple. You take the two pipes off there, you take the pipe off there, which has a split pin going through it, remove it, pipes off. Fuel filter out, then you fill this fuel filter with fuel right to the top so it's got fresh fuel in it. Yes, there will be some air bubbles, but the system will get rid of that, no problem. Connect your two lines back, put the top feed in, put your split pin through. Don't forget the on stopper, the end stopper, on stopper. You know what I mean. First of all, we're going to do the oil change, oil filter and oil. Now, your oil filter comes with a nut on the end. It takes a 30mm socket. Dead easy. Now, there's a trick. Because this is right up in the engine, the best way to take this off is to cover it in a plastic bag once you've dropped your oil. Get your socket on, loosen it off, Get in with your hand, loosen it off more, so it comes off. So any oil will fall into the plastic bag.
Classic oil and filter done. Bit of a messy job, but I'm on ramps. I'm under the van. Can't be avoided sometimes. Right. Topped up the power steering fluid. Next thing to do is drop some water and put the antifreeze in. Antifreeze is very important. It stops anti from freezing. <music> We've lost the light, it ceased to be, here's no more, it's gone, bye bye, hello moon. I'm gonna go to sleep, it'll be like, oof, five seconds. And you know what, it's a new day, we've got a bit of light, we need a van. There you go, magic. Right, fuel filter. There is three connections, one there, one there, one there. This one is with a split pin. These two are on small jubilee clips. Then we need to replace this, stop it on the bottom, take the old one out, fit the new one, and then fingers crossed it starts. These are jobs that I do on the van twice a year. Now, the reason I do it twice a year is because I want new coolants, new oils and new filters in the van for summer, and I also want the same for winter as well. It's an old van, just kind of needs that sort of looking after. And you know, 50 pounds, it does go a long way to help the van run and run a lot better as well. So let's get this fella in. There's the old one, there's the new one. That was a bit of a bitch to come out because the pipes that go on there just get stuck. But it's out, I'm gonna take this plug off, drain it, put the plug in a new one, fill this full of diesel, put it back in and pray it starts. Right, so we've got the new filter, full of diesel, put it in, split pit in, split pit, split pin in. Two tubes on, turn the engine over, fingers crossed, it will eliminate and get rid of all the air leaks, air bubbles, air blockages. You know what I mean. Ain't rocket science, is it? Let's put it in. Right, so fuel filters on. Now we've got to try and start it. It should be alright. It'll be fine. I've got no worries at all. None. It's going to splutter for a bit while it pulls out some of the air, but that's normal, don't worry about it. Fuel filter, done! Right, got a little tip for you. If you do happen to get an airlock in your system when you are changing the filter, there's a dead easy trick to solve it. I'm going to try and show you. That line there is your return from your injectors. Now, if you pull this off, it will spit diesel out. It will also split, split? It will also spit the air that is in the system. Right, so if there is an airlock, just take that little T-joint off and it will push the air through the system. The van will run probably a bit crap for 30 seconds to a minute. Let the air come out the system. Just don't do nothing, just leave it. Let it idle over. You'll physically hear the engine sound get better as you go. So, if that is a problem, there you go, you sorted. This is the right time of year to do your oil change. 
your coolant change and everything else. It's a cold time of the year. Oil gets shitty. It's nice to give the engine a fresh bit of oil and lubricants at this time of year as well in the summer as well. So next week we're going to Scotland, going to the Isle of Skye for a week. Travel around the Isle of Skye. Couldn't be any much better than that, can it? Do your servicing on your vans. Keep these vehicles in the best condition. They're not the youngest of things. So don't forget, if you liked the video, leave us a thumbs up. Don't forget, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, share it out with somebody who basically doesn't know what they're doing with doing a basic service on a van. Until the next video, whatever you do, do it well.